Hi there, I'm Lisa, this is Ted my husband, and along with Hans, Air Alsatian, and Bessie, who thinks she's a kangaroo, we are Chateau de Montmagne. March 2020, when Covid spanned the globe and the world began to lock down, we decided to turn our lives upside down and begin the adventure of a lifetime. We threw in our jobs, packed up the car and purchased this 14th century historical monument. You have arrived. Woohoo! We have arrived. <laughs> With no previous experience and just £80,000 budget and a tent as their temporary residence, we plan to transform this abandoned, unloved historical monument into a family home and thriving business. We have so many new skills to learn along the way, but we invite you to come along for the ride. So strap yourselves in and let the fun begin. So before we start this week's video, I just want to give you a quick update on the big project for phase two for this year. Um, at the moment, we're doing the immediate work on the piggeries that you would have seen us started last week. However, the big push is this big barn behind us that is going to become a medieval banqueting hall. Now, if you did see the video 150, can we really do it in a year? Then please go back and watch it because you'll see all of the plans for the next year and what is going to be a big push for series two on Help Me Border Village. So um, I just want to thank everybody that's gone and done the Buy Me A Toll fundraiser for Christmas. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. At the moment, we are up to, I've got it written on my hand, 1,535 euros and that equates to 511 tiles. Now we actually need 4,000 tiles to be able to do this roof. We had Michael, air roofer, come and see us on Sunday, had a good look at it and he reckons it will take two weeks to do 4,000 tiles and the total price should come in about 12,000 pounds. A lot of pounds. money. So um, all of our money coming in from our patrons, from our GoFundMe, from our Buy Me A Tile, you guys watching the adverts, is all being piled into this big project. So please go and watch the video. But thank you so much. And because we had such an influx of people buying tiles in the first week, what we're doing is gradually putting the names up at the end of every video, in the credits and giving you a mention. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. And once we've got enough money to go and buy all the tiles, we're then starting writing all the names down. Don't forget, if you have bought a tile and it's not your name you want on the tiles, just send us an email with the list of names that you want on them. I'm building an Excel sheet with lists of names. So please send it over in an email. Don't put it in the comments. Don't send it by messenger. Send it by an email to make sure I've got it all in one place. Anyway. This week is a sad Another goodbye. Another bright sunny morning. Woohoo! And right, what's the job today? So we're going to start rebuilding the walls. I think they're going to start here uh, around the new larger door. And they're also thinking about making some sort of a buttress here to support that beam, making buttresses, uh, two buttresses. Okay. Thankfully. They're thinking about it. So, but building time. I want Carsten to do some of the building. Because I think it's not fair, he just has to do all the, the lackey work. I want him to do the building, I'll do the mixing, he can do the building. You let me do this one? Yeah. And I've been <laughs> no. part of it. <laughs> Gonna write your name on it? You and Steve can be building. Um, we'll put the scaffold tower. You know, one of them do one side, one of them do the other. And then uh, <coughs> I'll do the mixing up. Because I'm the boss. Why are you oh, sorry. Boss? I'm the underboss. I'm, I'm the, the sous chef. Today's work is focusing on this front wall, making sure that it's stable and secure. You have to remember that these buildings are the 12th century side of the estate. This is the oldest part. We are raising this front wall slightly, just so that we can make sure we can access the building properly. However, if you watched last week's video where we took down a wall from inside the building, that is the stone that we are using so that it's all the original materials. Using the rest of the stone, the boys are going to build two buttresses on the outside. A kind of nod to our tower buttress. 
This will make sure that that wall is completely stable and secure. Chris and I have finished levelling the wall at the top, ready for the wall plates to go on. But the next job, we're going to build a little buttress over there to support this wall. And then tomorrow, these, the lintel will go back in over the door. We've raised that up so that can be a doorway, not a window anymore. Um, and this is the nice gnarly old bit of wood that we're going to put in. Looks a bit ropey on the outside, but you haven't got to go in very far before you find good wood. And that gets mounted on bits of slate. Because slate is impervious to water. Oh, right. So it doesn't expand and contract. So that lintel will never move because it's sat on something that is waterproof. So there you go, it's a tip for you. That's what we're going to use to, to pack under the beam. And because slate is nice and thin, we might need three one side and two the other, and generally that's good enough. So you're using my um, restaurant blackboards? Yes. Yeah. So when you write the new menu, you'll have to come out here and write it on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing tomorrow. And if we need some thick bits of slate, look at those. They lovely. Beautiful, and I love them. We need to make something out of those. Yeah, they're really cool. <laughs> is is slate hard or soft? Um, it is. It is hard in a certain direction. But like you know, it's it's all made out of very very thin layers. Yeah. And how it heads, you can cut it down to. So that's been compressed over thousands and thousands of years. All those layers are like the rings on a tree, aren't they? Like the growth rings on a tree, just laid down, laid down, laid down, and then compressed so hard. And that's and the, the slate always layers like that in nice straight runs. That's why they make slates out of slate because it's easy to split like that. You know, it's that's so uniform. Cool. It's beautiful. Until you cut yourself. Yeah. Can be a bit sharp. So you're happy with what you got done today? A bit like Steve, when we don't work, a bit sharp. Um, you're happy with what you got done today, baby? Um, I'm happy with the, the what these two. Do you reckon have the done. buttress will be finished by today? Yeah. That's yeah, that's bad. the idea. We finished the buttress today, so it can all oh, go Oh, I was joking. Are you being serious? Yeah, we've been oh, serious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not a great big job because it's, you know, obviously it gets progressively smaller, but we need, to, I think our biggest problem at the moment is trying to get these damn great roots out. Yeah. Um, and I'm thinking how, yeah, maybe the matter. Steve, uh, Steve has just picked it up and started working because he's worried that every time I come over here with the camera, He's got a can of coke in his hand, he's not doing anything. So he wants to he wants to show on camera that he is actually working. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this fella has done a lovely job today. Him and Carson have done this 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 top line. I know, it looks absolutely fabulous. Uh, they they built up this bit yesterday. Carson has you made the little arrow slit windows here. He's all uh, mortared they look them out. Fabulous. I love those little windows. I think yeah, they look, they're going to look really brilliant. Watch your feet. We're, um...
So I've been really busy today doing a private party, um, doing all the catering. So I haven't had a chance to come over to look at the piggeries. So this is my first chance. The boys have gone over now for a beer. Look, can you see them sitting over outside the chateau having a nice relaxing beer? And I think they deserve it because this is amazing. So they've finished building all of the top wall. They've put in, taken the former out, put in the, uh, I can't remember what they're called, the things above the window, those things. Can't remember what they're called. Anyway, to make the bigger door, they've finished both the buttresses. And this probably wouldn't have been needed, the buttresses, but it does mean that this wall is now really secure. Um, it's, it's not going anywhere. And they look really nice. They're a bit of a nod to our lovely tower buttress. Not quite as large, but um, yeah, it may still look a bit like a building site, but uh, it's really coming along now. So I think tomorrow's job is for them to clean up this back wall up here. Um, and uh, take all the small stones off the top and just make sure that's really secure for the um, roof timbers to go on. They're really, really cracking on with this. Um, when you think Colston's only been over here a week and um, yeah, you know, the roof came off, the timbers came off, the wall was demolished, the wall's been, this front wall's been rebuilt up secured by the buttresses, the doors being made. This is amazing in, in a few days. What's the day today? What is the day today? The day's Tuesday today, and he arrived last Thursday. So they obviously didn't have Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, today, Tuesday, five days, they've done all this work. My God. They've really cracked on. Sadly, Colston has to go home tomorrow. Um, we've got to drop him back at the airport. So it's a real shame that he doesn't get to finish the project, but, um, and I think he's a bit gutted as well, but he has been such a help to Ted. Um, and obviously Steve as well. You know, Steve has been over here helping the boys. He's, Steve's done a roof before, so he's been a big help in, um, just them understanding really what needs to be done. But um, yeah, let's see what tomorrow brings. So it's Colston's last day and he's just having his last coffee before he's off to the airport. So how's your week been? It's run very, very fast. It seems like I arrived yesterday. Same as last time. It's been good. I think we had a lot of work done. Uh, and I also got to do some building. We demolished the whole lot, but we also we some started rebuilding stuff. So really good. Does it feel good? It feels good, yeah. It does. You've enjoyed it. I have. Certainly have. As last time, I've been fed like a king and slept like a queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Uh, brilliant. So are you happy with how far you got this week? I am. I, I, I didn't have any clue how, how far we'd get, but, uh, well, as you say, Tess, when you start a project here, you never know what happens. And I think uh, that's it. We learned again. Yeah, yeah. We, you, you just never know what it's going to, what, what problems you're going to come up against. You know, you can never go, this is a simple, straightforward project. This is going to be fine. It's going to take this day to do this and this day to do that. We had some really bad weather um, yeah. for the first couple of days, but we we soldiered on through it. Then we once we were soaked to the skin, we just carried on. Uh, we had some late evenings mm. working, yeah. but I think you know I just would dearly love to have this man here most of the time. <laughs> I think what we need to do is actually instead of what he does now, which is take 51 weeks in Denmark he needs to be 51 weeks here and a week in Denmark back in 
you know, you can bring Lotta whenever you want. You know, she can come over. Yep. She can come over. So, um, what do they call it? Conjugal visits. <laughs> um, I, agree with, I don't have a clue what it means, but I agree with you. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. I agree, boss. He's, um, but I just, I, I just thank you from the bottom of my heart, and the, you know, I know Lisa thanks you for all you do, which is. Well, it's just brilliant, and it's it's not just about the building. I think we have a, a good laugh, don't we? Yeah, we and do. it's nice to have somebody to drink beer with. Yeah. And it's yeah. you know, and uh, I've also been fed like a king mm. this week <laughs> because I've been having dinner with him most nights. <laughs> and Say thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> oh, to you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's, it's you know it's always sad, isn't it? When you don't, you know, when you go back, and but uh, it, you know, I love the fact that when you come back, you'll be able to see mm. your project mm. hopefully completed. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're busy. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. And with yeah. the, you know this over here, yeah. you've done, you have properly put your mark on this place mm. now. By building the buttress on the on the left hand side, yeah, and, and both of us building the the right hand one. Yeah. That is, you know, that is the buttress that Carsten built. So, Cos, that's a good point actually to make. How did it feel when you came back and saw the kitchen finished? Because your last project here was halfway through the kitchen. That's what it's about. It's being part of it, and now coming back, seeing that it's it's part of the place and the business. That's that's the greatest thing. What I love about and what's he like working with me and Ted? I love it. I love it. I think we get along well. Yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can, I can feel when I should not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you're really, you're, you're quite handy when there's um, camera crew around by uh, pulling I, me away. Yeah. yeah. Ted, I need your help with something. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, um, but yeah, he's, I think we work well together. I think, and I think the three of us as well, with Steve involved, you know, yeah. Steve is obviously the boss. Yeah, yeah. And we're just... Uh, the hands. Yeah, the hands yeah. that, you know, yeah. shape his vision. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Okay, so, well, thank you, Colston, for me. Thank and you. Um, It's very sad. We'll see you next time. You will. Yeah. You will. Yes. I left my clothes here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Colson's got a drawer. He's now got, he's now, he wanted a wardrobe, but now he's yeah. got a drawer. Yeah. <laughs> he's got actually a box up in the loft. Like, there's Charlene. has got a box up in the loft mm. with Carsten work clothes. <laughs> worker one, worker two. Work, work clobber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a so rat. it really was a sad goodbye to Colston. We love having him here. He's he's not only does he make us laugh, but he's just one of the family now. He's absolutely brilliant. We can't wait to have him back. And I think he's coming back with his sons next time. So that'll be absolutely superb. God, can you imagine three Colstons with Ted and Steve? It'll be amazing. We'll have this place finished in no time. Anyway. Please come back on Thursday because we have so much more of the piggery roof to show you. The roof will be going back on. Come back on Thursday and that's the saga you'll see. And don't forget, if you want to buy a toll for Christmas, then please see the link. It's in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all again Thursday. Bye. Don't forget, if you want to be part of something much bigger and have your name installed in this roof for a very long time to come, then follow the link in the description. So in today's video, we would like to say a special thank you to Leslie Edens, Laurie Dillon, Kiki O'Mercer, Linda Thompson, Kim Ward, The Wrights, Jill Rosalie, Penny Granham, Julie Gailey, Graham Mobs, Fred, Jane and Tony Tyler Marie Jose and Jean-Pierre Richard Ellison David Drain Caitlin Michelle Tracy Harper Karen Mancini Jeet Awal Nick and Lisa Shaw Louise Mortimer Jen and Dave Mallam Lucy Helm Joyce Banks John Pappas Steve Cox 
Dawn St. Michelle. Julie Wood. Barton Annika. Susan Woodier. Stephanie Marriott. Donna Rylands and Co. Julie Fletcher. Thank you all so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.